metallic bonding the electron c model in this model the valence electrons of the metals get delocalized and they do not remain attached to any particular atom but forms a sea of electrons the metal ions are packed up orderly in this sea of electrons which act as a glue and do not let the metal ions go far away from each other in this figure the arrangement of metal ions is shown on a two dimensional platform they are actually vibrating about their mean position. This electron C model explains most of the physical properties of metals like electrical and thermal conductivity, which is enabled by the motion of electrons of the C. In case of electrical conductivity, the moving electrons carry electric charge, whereas in the case of thermal conductivity, the same electrons are energy carriers. The electrons are energized by the metal ions receiving heat which cause them to vibrate more and energy is subsequently passed on to the next metal ion. This could not have been done if the electrons were not free to move and were bonded in some way. However, at high temperatures the vibrating mode of metal ions will increase which will definitely hinder the flow of electrons and so electrical conductivity of metals decrease as temperature is increased. Properties like malleability and ductility can also be explained. The metal ions are packed in layers and when external force is given, a layer can slide over the adjacent layer, like this. A metal can be hammered into thin sheets like this. Or it may be drawn into wires. The metal ion rearranges their position, keeping the structure same in the sea of electrons, which acts as a glue. On the basis of this electron C model, the strength of metallic bond will depend on the number of valence electrons, or in other words, number of electrons in the sea, the amount of charge on the metal ions, size of the metal ion. In sodium, there is one valence electron, whereas in magnesium, there are two valence electrons. Sodium ion has plus one charge, whereas magnesium ion has plus two charge. Therefore, attraction between metal ions and the sea of electrons is more in magnesium. This is supported by the fact that magnesium has a higher melting point than sodium and also the crystal structure of magnesium is HCP, which is more closely packed than BCC structure of sodium. The boiling point and melting point of transition metals, which may be termed as volatility, is even higher than alkali metals and alkaline earth metals because their valence electrons are in 4s as well as 3d subcells. The metals in the first transition series have their melting points as follows. You see that the melting points are not exactly increasing linearly as expected by the rise of valence electrons. This can be explained from the knowledge of electronic shell configuration of these transition metals. For the first three metals, that is up to vanadium, the melting point rises due to increase in unpaired valence electron in 3D subshell. In chromium, there is a dip, although there is a rise in unpaired valence electron. This is due to the fact that 3D subshell is exactly half filled and they start to interact within themselves at the expense of exchange energy rather than interacting with metal ions. This is the reason that melting point of manganese dips further, having all the unpaired electrons in 3D subshell. From iron to nickel, the melting point decreases steadily due to decrease in number of unpaired electrons in 3D subshell. For copper, the melting point dips abruptly because the 3D subshell becomes fully filled. The only unpaired electron is in the 4S subshell. In zinc, the decrease in melting point is very high because it has no unpaired electrons. The electron C model gives a qualitative explanation only. It does not give us the quantitative model of metallic bonding. For this purpose, the band theory is more suitable 
which will be discussed in another video.